out. Who wants to play? Who wants to play this game? <laughs> you! There's your dice. Die. Die. Dice. Plural. <laughs> so, here's what we're doing. You can pick a number and set it down. And we'll take turns back and forth. And the goal is whoever, we're going to continually add our scores together. So that's a total score between us. And whoever stops on 50 is the winner. Okay, you know what I mean? Okay. Like darts? <laughs> I like darts. Yeah, yeah, same idea. Yeah. So, and to, to help show you that I'm not cheating, per se, you can decide who goes first. Yourself or myself. Uh, you first. Okay. In that case, I will pick a one. So we're going to bring it to 50. Yeah, and we're going to keep adding it together. I got to speed it up with sixes. In a way, you know that joke, or not the joke, you know that, uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's a joke. Uh, I won the sandbox, I toot the sandbox, and we want to try to get them to go, I eat the sandbox. Yeah. So you want to stop on 50. Like that one would be, you want the other person to stop on 8. Okay. This is it. So it's kind of like that. So you put down any number you want. doesn't matter. As long as we are trying to outmaneuver each other so that I want to stop on 50 and you want to stop on 50. Okay. And only one person can. So we can speed it up with sixes, right? Sure. Yeah. Seven. Okay, so we're up to seven. I'm going to pick one again. That's eight. Someone keep track, too. Uh, another <laughs> six is um, 14, 14. 14. 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> another six. Really? Yeah. 21. 21. Right there. You might as well get up there. 22. Yeah. <laughs> another six. <laughs> Which is what? This is suicide for you. How do you know that? 28. 29. 29. Another 6. Okay, what around? 35. 37. 36. 36. Uh, let's bring it to a 5 and see what you think you bring it to a 2. <laughs> uh, so it was 37, 41. Sure. <laughs> what are you up to? 42. It was 29. 37, 38, 29, 35, 40. 40. 43. 43. 43. 43. So if I put a 3, are you going to put a 3? <laughs> well, I'm going to try and stop on 50. We're getting pretty close. Okay, 47. 47. So if I put a 3, I'll be 50. Great, fifty. Okay, yeah. Fifty. Yeah. I want. Oh, I could have put a six down. <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> want to try again? So <laughs> well, I could have won that just by putting a no, six. No, you there. couldn't have actually. <laughs> but there's a reason for that. <laughs> I try it again. I could look bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something more random, though. Not so much extremely predictable. Where do you want to go first? Me. Okay. Didn't you say me last time? Yes. Yep. So I'm going to keep track. Five. Six. I will put down a... Eight. Ten. Eight. Uh, okay. How about... Uh, <coughs> So what's what did I put down there? Two. 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 Down there. Two. I put both the twos. Up to ten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Eighteen. Forty-three. Yeah. 
Oops. Maybe I can tell one of these guys how to do it. And then you try it. Mm. Do either of you yeah, think you I'll know how it works? Do you want to try it first? I think I have an idea okay. how it could work. <laughs> Who do you want to go first? You can. Again? Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. See, I can project what you're going to put down, but. I still don't understand it. Who's keeping track? Fifteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, so if you put a six, what am I going to put? Oh, one. Usually one. Why? I don't know why, but... Okay, what about opposites? Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20. 29. 29 that time? Okay. Yeah. 29. What am I going to put? 2. Why? I don't know why, but you just do. Six. How do you know that? <laughs> because you do it every time. Okay. Want to wrap, Jake? 36. Okay. You need to stop on 50. <laughs> Remember that. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. We're 36. <laughs> What am I going to put? The five again. <laughs> what are we up to? But now you should be able to win it. No, you can't. Oh. 23. He's screwed. Because of my, what I put, he's screwed. Mm -hmm. What are you going to put next? <laughs> as well, as I'll finish it off. <laughs> what was it, 43? Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's again. impossible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I won three times in a row. How did I do it? You're making sure, you can make sure it goes to uh, 43. Make sure it goes to 43, then you've got them. Okay. Well, by making sure that it's 7 every time, 7 7s is 42. So then you can just add one. Okay. You're almost right. 7 7s seven is 42, though, not 43. Yeah, but you can, multi <laughs> you can simply add one in the, the last one, as long as it's not a 6. Okay, so here's it. There are pole positions, what they call, so there's certain numbers along the way from 0 to 50 you have to hit. Or you should hit. It's okay if you missed one or two. <coughs> and whoever hits them is likely going to be the winner, and you can predict that. And but in the beginning, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you're so... Early into the it. first one, you said sevens, going by sevens. But the very first one is eight to make up for that one. Okay. So, how about, uh, okay, let's say between him and I here. So you said you decide who wants to go first. Oh, I want Robert to go first. Okay, pick an up uh, and put it down. Okay, we'll put the three down. So the first, the first pole position is number one, which means if I go first, I would put one. But where he went first and he bypassed number one, the next pole position is eight, because you're gonna go by sevens. You always and it's only possible to roll six, not a not a seven ever. So now each round has to be a total of seven. So whatever he put, I need to make it add to seven. Every time. So he put a three, I need to put a four to hit that seven. Oh your first pole position was eight. Yeah, that's what we're at right now. The first one was one. That's seven. Yes, no. but that's you seven. Five. Five, no. Eight. No? Um, but oh, you said yes. And you said yeah, you're absolutely eight. Eight. right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. needed a but five. But you wanted eight even if I went first? <laughs> yes. I yes. would have put a five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But, see, even if I had screwed that up, mm. it's still, there's a long time to fix it, mix it. Or, yeah. Perfect. So. I even wrote down here, and if you guys want some instructions here, I've printed this out today. So your pole positions are written out right here, 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, 36, 43, and lastly 50. 
But if you can't remember that, which you have to do it in your head constantly, just remember starting with one or eight, one to eight, and after that is always by sevens. So we're up to what now? Just to follow this along. Eight. 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 Okay, now you put down another number. Any number. So. Because we're now, I'm going to try, if I want to win, I'm going to try to shoot for 15, which is 7 up. Uh -huh. and Big 8 to, to 7 up. So, those are multiple we're just going to follow this along. So just put down a number, and then we'll, we can follow this visually and out loud so everyone knows what's going on. Okay, a 4. Okay, 4. So I'm going to go 7 up from there. Which takes us to what? 15. 15. There we go. We're on track. Pick another number. The other guy won't know this, of course, but you know it. You need to hit these chop points as much as possible. One. So if I want to hit seven, that's a six. Where are we at? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Next. So it don't it don't matter what I put. It really doesn't. <laughs> now it's that equals seven again. So now we're up to twenty-nine. So the only way you could have won was if you put down the one first. Nope. Nope. If he doesn't know what's going on, if he doesn't know what's going on, yeah. That's what I mean if he didn't know. Because <laughs> the most I could put down. See, if he did put the one first, I would still shoot for eight. And if I put six, that's only seven. So what I would probably do is pick a one again. He might go six. If he knew what. That's right. right. In that case, he would have, have, have the jump yeah. if he did it twice in a row. But if he doesn't, chances are he's going to score it again, <coughs> and then I would get the jump on. So if you were playing against yourself, which makes no sense, sense. <laughs> <laughs> would you have the advantage of going first, or like that's why you usually in a lot of tricks they always let the person choose so that they know there's no funny business. Because they like, well, I chose who went first, so it can't, can't be. But in reality, one of them's going to have a better advantage if you both knew how to do it. If you both knew, it's almost pointless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because then you would what then you'd probably do is if you went first and put one, I'd probably put a one. The next, he'd probably put a one again, and then, or maybe then he would go. If you put one, and I put one. It would, it's like six. it would be much more of a chess yeah. game. So yeah. long as impossible. If the other person hit the first two, then you're screwed yeah. anyway. Yeah. If they get the first <laughs> two because they know what's going but on. But if they miss the second one, then you've got it over them the rest yeah. of the game. Yeah. So it's just a matter of who who gets that eight is more important than who gets the one. <laughs> yeah. And usually only one person's going to know what's up. The guy who's yeah. trying to make money possibly. Mm -hmm. Or. Yeah. If they just have a brain fart and put the, they accidentally roll a die onto the wrong side or something like that, probably through. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. 